Welcome to the February edition of the Missouri School Boards Association's Board Report. We begin with a look at the Governor's State of the State Address last month. On January 18th, Governor Parson delivered his annual State of the State Address, which laid out his legislative agenda. Education was once again a focus. Now, as a product of public education, the father of a school teacher, the grandfather of a first-year school teacher, and preschooler, I know the American dream could not be possible for so many without a quality education. This year, we will again fully fund the foundation formula with an additional $117 million to ensure Missouri schools are receiving the support they need. During his speech, Governor Parson detailed the progress his administration has made in education funding, teacher pay, and workforce development. The governor's budget proposal also includes $233 million for school transportation needs, $32 million to expand the career ladder program, and continues the teacher baseline salary program that raised teacher pay from $25,000 to $38,000 per year. Additionally, the governor proposed $50 million for school safety grants for Missouri schools to make physical security investments on their campuses, develop security plans, establish school resource officer programs, and increase active threat trainings. Governor Parson also requested $56 million to expand pre-kindergarten options. There is a clear need to do better when it comes to early childhood. Let's meet this moment for Missouri families, Missouri kids, and our businesses. There are many issues being considered in the current session of the General Assembly that are of interest to MSBA and school board members throughout the state. As the legislative session progresses, we will keep you updated on these developments again this year through our Legislative Voice newsletters sent to members via email each Friday during the session, through critical issue alerts, periodic webinars, and MSBA's Action Center website. We urge you to stay in contact with your legislators during the session and communicate to them the impact legislation will have on your school district. MSBA Director of Governmental Relations, Brant Shields, says that in addition to advocating for your district, it's also important to serve as an educator to legislators. There's not really a space for subject matter experts in our legislature. They have to be uh, a foot deep and a mile wide across a whole bunch of, bunch of issues. So be that subject matter expert for them when it comes to public education. And be that trusted source so when they have questions, they know that they can come to you as a locally elected school board member. On that note, don't miss your chance to visit your legislator at the Capitol during MSBA's Advocacy Day. Known formerly as Legislative Forum, Advocacy Day is scheduled for March 28th in Jefferson City. The event will be preceded by a spring virtual meeting on March 1st and weekly lunch and learn sessions on Fridays to provide legislative updates on the issues that matter to you. Check the MSBA website for registration information for all of these events. MSBA is also pleased to sponsor School Board Recognition Month in March, as proclaimed by Governor Parson. It's a great opportunity for school districts and communities to recognize the great work of school board members and the important role local boards of education play as leaders of our public schools. And finally, on January 31st, parents, school board members, school leaders, and supporters from St. Louis Public Schools, Normandy Schools Collaborative, and Kansas City Public Schools visited the Capitol for the Parent Day of Action. The group was recognized by both the House and Senate and then set out to visit with legislators before ending the day with a rally for supporters in the Capitol Rotunda. Matt Davis, president of the City of St. Louis Board of Education, explained why it's important to tell the stories of local schools. It's important to have the parents come, meet their legislators, meet legislators that they don't necessarily know, but are passing bills that affect our schools and our students, and tell their stories and to just sort of explain from their perspective why they are so happy with their public schools and why it's important to strengthen them. Kansas City School Board member Jennifer Wolfsey says that although the Parents' Day of Action involved St. Louis and Kansas City parents, advocating for public schools is for everyone, regardless of district size. I mean, really, there's more similarities between um, Kansas City and St. Louis and rural schools than there are um, differences a lot of times. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting and for all that you do to ensure all students succeed.